every now and then you see something a little different, a little fun, and I think the message with this one is that home is where you park it. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd of Bacious RV with something fun and different for you here today. A new member of the Timberwolf series from Cherokee. And uh, some people are gonna look at it and say, oh, they're building tiny homes now. They're not, they're, they're literally not. This is not a tiny home, it is a fully self-contained travel trailer. It's just in a very different arrangement from what we've ever seen. And it has like all the things you might have in a house packed into a really small, fun little space. But what's cool about this, because it is fully self-contained, it's something, if you wanna like take it out by a lake, use it sort of like a cabin. You don't necessarily have to have like on-site hookups in that. It is a travel trailer that you can use in travel trailer ways. Now certainly you could bring it to a park and utilize it. And there's a lot of like household style appliances. Like it has an actual combo washer dryer. It has a dishwasher built in the sucker, big refrigerator. It's something that would work very well if you park it around. But like if you notice the kind of sort of off-road tires, if you want to take it somewhere where, you know, maybe you're going a little bit off the beaten path and you don't want to, you know, scrape up the sidewall of a tire, it's equipped for things like that too. All the features this has in this is really incredible, but it's no slides, it's no carpet or vents in the floor, it's simple and easy to clean. You've got like double loft sleepers, one's going to be like your main, it could be a queen bed, king bed, you could do twin beds, you could do whatever you want with it, but it's also got that... I would say forward, but actually rear mini loft that could be an attic, it could be storage, you could decorate it, uh, it could be additional sleeping. There's all kinds of different ways that you can use this one right here. Now currently, this is in sort of the development phase that I got a hold of the video on this. There's no sort of like real solar on it right now. So one of the things I would kind of ask you folks as we go through this video, as you digest this, as you watch this. Do you think it should have no solar? It should be more of something that is kind of geared toward park use. Is it something that should have some kind of prep, maybe a basic battery tender? Should there be a big available package? And what kind of things make sense to you there? Those are all the things that, you know, I'd love to get some feedback for you on. But in the meantime, let's hop inside there because this is, uh, this is a fun time. And where else can you get something like this uh, in the RV industry? And I mean, the window coverage, if, if a neighbor comes knocking, uh, <laughs> you better be dressed. <laughs> Although the windows, um, you know, uh, a little harder to see into than see out of. And of course you do have, you know, your privacy shades, but it is incredible everything that they pack into this. You know, we have a recliner. We have a sofa high to bed for some guest uh, capacity. Actually, what's crazy is this has got really good guest capacity. This could be a, uh, a small family camper. You know, it doesn't have to be just a solo or a couple's rig. We've got a dedicated dining here. And you're going to see that, like, everything this RV does, like, two or three different things. You know, it's a very multifunctional, flex-functional kind of thing. All the way straight up top here, of course, we have our central air and that uh, ceiling fan just really providing some real comfort, uh, comfort kind of factor here. Super, super tall ceilings like you expect out of the Timberwolf series. And then you've got this little uh, mini loft right here. Now, the thing with that is it's a little bit of anything that you want it to be. It can be a whole bunch of different things. It could be loft attic storage space. It could be a guest sleeper. It could be a little bit of anything you want. Um, up top on the other side, that is where your main uh, bed will be located. Kind of like a little bit of a, um, I don't know, like a studio apartment or something like that, as it were. Now, uh, obviously, I've done a, a 180 and flipped the script here. So, like, when you walk in the patio door, this is a little bit more of what you're going to see. And this is uh, what we normally refer to as the campsite of the RV. Um, or, uh, no, I'm sorry. This is uh, the driver's side of the RV over here. But there's, there's windows everywhere. I think the campsite of the RV is actually the back of it. I think you want to park this where, you know, you're going to park this, rather, in places in ways that you wouldn't park a normal travel trailer i think but again it's not a tiny home uh it, it is a fully self-contained travel trailer that is one of the major differences here now one of the things i thought was very cool about this is this got the little harry potter under the stairs hidden storage pocket but they tucked it away so nicely i almost missed that they also tuck heat vents in out of the way locations so it's a totally carpetless ventless floor plan and if you're paying attention it's no slides. It's just simple, straightforward, and easy. You know, you just go, basically, with this thing. And this is a true staircase. So, like, uh, you know, I can walk facing for you. Like, you don't have to go backwards down it like a ladder, like you would a lot of things. And I love that little, extra little electric space heat and mini fireplace that you have right there. That 
will provide a lot of heat into the RV. Now, obviously, it'll keep you really toasty at night if you want it to. But the uh, the thing here is that this RV, uh, you know, you know, you you could have that thing on, and it will uh, kind of you know keep heat uh, cooking through the entire RV for you. Then if you look up front here, you can see you've got a nice chunk of uh, storage space. There's some household and USB outlets on both sides of it. Um, and just to kind of give you a little bit of a, uh, an idea of like where I fit into this thing, there's a little size demo with myself up there uh, on the bed for you. Now, moving from that uh, upper loft downstairs here, you've got a downstairs like, you know, kitchen, utility space, all kinds of things. Um, where it kind of begins over here uh, with what looks like a very sort of traditional Cherokee kind of dining situation. Um, you've got, I, I do like they have a full oven and everything. We're going to dive into this whole sink function in just a minute. Uh, the uh, Over here in the uh, appliance corner though, gigantic refrigerator in this sucker. For a, uh, a smaller rig overall, that's probably the biggest like, you know, ratio of fridge to camper I think I've seen in a long, long time. But you're noticing there's a whole lot of different appliances also going on over here. So this is going to kind of be like our, our laundry and dish station. And we're going to start right up top looking at uh, all the storage here. That is actually a dishwasher uh, just below that cabinet. And then obviously you do have a uh, uh, you know your clothes washer dryer down below that. Large, large refrigerator giving you tons of cold storage capacity. But when we kick over to the kitchen, it's actually kind of surprising how much total storage we have in here um, as well. The uh, oven, there's actually two drawers below the oven. I think I only opened one, but there is a second one down there. But look at the sink. You know, you've got a little veggie prep station. You've got a, a rinse basin. You've got your cutting board cover. Like, everything in this RV does multiple things. Plus, you have that cool little, like, um, you know, glass uh, kind of, you know, squirting sprayer cleaner kind of thing. It, it is... Very cool, all the different functions they have in this. And being a stick-built RV, they can put power outlets anywhere you want them, where it's a lot, lot easier. Now, moving back here uh, into the bathroom, it's a little unconventional that, like, our converter and our battery disconnect is located over here. But, I mean, there's no slides. It's not like you can't ever get to anything. Everything works here. Giving you a, a look at the space around the toilet, I was... Pleasantly surprised with that. And actually, you may have noticed how I had plenty of room to very easily walk, like, right into the bathroom. And, uh, you know, not have to, like, duck going through anything. Um, the uh, that, that is a giant Lipitorge storage medicine cabinet uh, over there as well. But that's really only kind of scratching the surface of the storage. If you notice over here, it actually kind of starts uh, off here on the, uh, the, the left side of the RV, like right behind the toilet. So cracking that open, you've got a whole lot of places to store a whole lot of butt napkins, basically. <laughs> Not to mention a uh, you know you know big linen cabinet and all kinds of things going on um, over there. This also has a really big shower, but this is really the one area of the RV that left me scratching my head, kind of because it was um, well, I couldn't just stand in the shower. Even though it is a rear drop frame back here, I'm a little over six foot. My head was bumping the ceiling panel up there. Now, you might be wondering, well, how do they, you know, vent steam, uh, you know, while you're showering? Well, that's what this is. Basically, it's like a truck camper um, kind of vent, but it vents out the side of the RV. And I've seen that done in a couple campers, and I think overall it, uh, it works pretty well. Now, this is an oxygenic showerhead, and the idea behind it is it tends to give you um, uh, a little more concentrated water pressure. Just people like that, that feeling, because a lot of RVs, they are a low pressure um, kind of system, you know. And there is a, uh, a little corner seat in the shower if you need to sit to bathe or kick your feet up. You can do, uh, you know, all those little comfort factors. And, again, with no slides, there's no nonsense. There's no setup. It's just simple, easy, straightforward. Now, keep in mind the specs that you're looking at are kind of subject to change. I was sort of shocked. It only weighs like around 6,000 pounds. I was almost expecting like a third more than that. I figured it'd weigh around eight. Um, it's about 30 foot, give or take, tip to tail. I don't have the hard numbers in front of me right now. But overall, like very mobile. I was, I was shocked how mobile that is. Now the thing is, it is a big, tall brick. Um, it is a funny, odd shape. If you're going to go through wind country, you're still probably going to want a three-quarter ton to move it around because you're going to have a giant sailboat behind you. And if somebody behind you is honking and tailgating, they can't figure out the fact that, uh, you know, your, um, 
<laughs> hauling a, a, a something literally shaped like a brick, well, that's their problem, not yours. Now, look look at this here. Now, I, I, I don't believe the chairs are included. It's just kind of here for, once again, decoration purposes. But if all you need to go camping are some chairs, we can get you some chairs. Removable stable steps on the back, I think, is a really smart touch. But there's nothing that says you have to use those because they're removable. If you want to use this more like a lot of people use destination trailers at seasonal sites and build an extended deck on the back, <laughs> Be our guest, man. Nothing says you can't do that. It would be, uh, you, you do that all day long. Um, the uh, Obviously, with the privacy curtains pulled and whatnot, like nobody's peeking in at you while you're sleeping, while you're breathing. And up top here, you've got some sweet entertainment. They've got speakers pointing right down at you. I don't normally like speakers mounted up high, but the thing is, they're pointing straight down at you. They're not blowing the neighbors away with your freedom rock, brother. And I love all the uh, kind of, I don't know, laser cut, what, whatever the, the etching is. There's even a little indirect blue LED light inside that Timberwolf thing right there just to give it kind of a, uh, a cool look. They went with the uh, the mirrored windows here like they do in a lot of the Cherokee family, which, uh, again, during the day, man, just uh, really gives you a lot of privacy. And it, it makes the whole thing kind of look, I don't know, kind of alive. Now, something I really appreciated when I was inside of this and a bunch of people were coming and yanking on the door, those... Uh, stable uh, jacks right there, the, the quick drop stabilizers, they were getting the job done. People were marching up and down that patio, and I, I could tell somebody was back there moving around, but it wasn't anything, like, too severe. Now, it seems kind of funny. It's like, why are they using off-road tires? Are they, are they advertising this as an off-road camper? Eh, not, not really, but... What if you want to take this to an unconventional space? You don't want to, you know, drop a whole bunch of money building a log cabin. This is something with a little thicker, heavier sidewall. Uh, if you do want to get, uh, you know, kind of off the beaten path a little bit, you can. Now, uh, you notice how they've also got that sort of, um, you know, diamond skirting all the way down to give you some extra brush protection for that same situation. You've also got a propane cooker hooker here, and if I can get down to the ground low enough, you can see that it does have the enclosed sectionalized accessory giving you um, just a little bit of extra seasonal kind of comfort and protection. Now, that's not storage, and that is um, an uh, important thing that I want to mention. This RV does not have outside storage. It's made to everything is inside of this camper. Nothing is outside. And obviously, this is what I was talking about. If you're towing this thing, you've got an aerodynamic nightmare in the front of it. I don't think it's something, again, though, really intended for a lot of towing, but again, it is still a travel trailer. It's not uh, a true park model. It's a fully self-contained travel trailer with just a very interesting shape. Tankless on-demand water heater. And um, I am noticing two sewer outlets. What I need to get clarity on um, as I'm standing here live in real time is when you're looking at models like this that have a washer dryer, Sometimes they don't actually have their own washer dryer holding tank. Instead on some smaller uh, spaces like this, they'll literally just have a sewer pipe that runs straight outside and you would have to basically have on-site sewer and hook directly to it. Now, I'm going to try to go get some clarity on that right now. I'm gonna try to leave some notes on screen to help clarify that for you so you know exactly how the tanks are arranged on this one, uh, you know, before you, you go spending your money because I'd rather know for sure uh, than guess later. And I mean, <laughs> what other camper can you just literally sit on your back porch at the end of the day and sip a nice tea and watch the sunset? That is very cool. You could maybe argue some kind of toy haulers, but um, that ain't the same. That ain't the same as this. This definitely feels a lot more like them. I love those hanging plants in there. By the way, the fake plastic fruit in the plants not included. I know what you're thinking. No fake plastic banana, no sale, but that's just how it goes. If you need a fake plastic banana to buy a camper, I'm pretty sure I could hit Walmart and get one for you. Don't let that stop you. Now, I'll leave you links in the video description to check pricing and availability on these, but keep in mind, as I'm getting this video out, they may not yet be in production. I may not have that information available for us on our website yet. If you're kind of curious for extra early advance information, if there's nothing there, contact our team. We're happy to get that stuff to you as much as we can, because again, I'm ahead of the curve at the time this video rolls out. Are you ready? We're ready. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Mm -hmm.